Hi friends, Rachel Gingell here. I got a new toy. It's this upgraded dyno from the one that we had before and I'm dying to try it out, so I'll try it out with you. Today's experiment is regular fuel versus race fuel. I have regular fuel in my Farmall M right now. I'm gonna test it on the dyno to get a horsepower reading. Then I'm gonna drain that fuel and fill it with race fuel to see if there's a significant horsepower increase between the two fuels inside this Farmall M. Now this M has been modified, it has quite a few M&W uh, parts on it, so we'll probably get a higher than normal reading on horsepower just with regular gas, but it'll be exciting to see the difference with race fuel. So my dad's gonna go ahead and operate the tractor for me. So we're just revving up the tractor here, we're gonna let the tractor get all the way revved up, and then I'm gonna start putting it under a load. We're doing this reading at the center line here, which is for the 540 RPM. I'm watching the RPMs on my gauge to the right. I'm not quite down to 540 yet, so I'm gonna keep giving it a little bit more. I'm almost to 540. There we go. That's 540. Gonna... I lost it. There we go. There's 540. I'm right at the 60 horsepower mark. That's a lot of horsepower for a Farmall M. If you loosen this up here, that's really good. Next I'm going to drain this fuel and we'll come back when race fuel is inside the tank. I have race fuel in my tractor now. The sediment bowl has a purple tint to it so I know it's made it all the way through and we're ready to test it out, see if there's the increase with that fuel change. Let the tractor get revved up here. Now I'm ready to start to put it under a load here. Just a minute here, my gauge will start to, there we go. So I'm watching my RPMs here. I'm watching my horsepower there. I give it a little bit more. Cranking it all the way down to that 540 mark right there. Then I'm gonna tighten this up so we can get a good reading. Okay, I got 64 horse. Loosen that up. So we have a four horsepower difference. I would say that that would be worth it. If I was going to a tractor pull, I would run race fuel in this tractor because that extra four horsepower can be the difference between first and second place. It just might be that little edge that you need in a tractor. So if you're in a tractor pulling, go ahead, give race fuel a try. Testing it on a dyno is the best way to prove it. This really does make a difference. We went from 60 to 64 horsepower just with that one change.